Okay, I want to thank Senators Murray, Stabenow, and Bennett for joining me today. So we had a lot to discuss at lunch today, both looking ahead and also taking a moment to look at what we've accomplished this far in Congress. Uh, from lowering costs, rebuilding local economies, funding our government, supporting our allies in their fights for democracy, Democrats have shown up, ignored the conservative chaos, and led the way. Now, we're following a busy and successful su uh, session. Senate Democrats have led the way in passing the foreign aid package, getting desperately needed funds for our allies across the globe, passing FISA, the reauthorization, and ensuring a vital piece of our national security is protected. So to date, it's clear that Senate Democrats have delivered. Don't take my word for it, look at the numbers. $866 billion in private investment announced under this administration and under the Senate Democratic majority. Last week, I stood with the President to announce a $125 billion investment in New York and Idaho by Micron, made possible by our CHIPS science law, which we're so, so proud of. More than $500 billion in direct investments in our infrastructure, in clean energy products, and more. The legislation we passed is creating ex historic investments in our communities, real good paying jobs. We're bringing back manufacturing to America, something that people thought couldn't be done. It's fixing our supply chains to lower costs. It's creating jobs in every corner of the country to expand the middle class. And now we're working with our Republican colleagues to get, again, to get FAA done. Both parties have an incentive to work together to get FAA done as quickly and smoothly as we can, to keep our skies safe, to keep our federal employees well taken care of. And today, I joined Senators Booker and Wyden to introduce the Cannabis Administration and Opportunity Act, a comprehensive and necessary update to the federal government's approach to cannabis. I'm proud to be the first majority leader ever to call for an end to marijuana prohibition. I've seen consequences of the outdated laws and the benefits of common sense cannabis reg regulation at the state level. Well, it's time for, this, for the Congress to follow suit. The states have been the laboratories and they've shown the success of doing what we're doing. So I'm very proud of the bill we're releasing today. Our legislation will finally remove marijuana from the list of controlled substances. And also today, our dear colleague, Senator Stabenow, introduced the substance of our farm bill. It's vital for the country in rural America. It does a great, great job at helping rural America. It does a great job at feeding those who need food. Um, and we're going to work doggedly to get it done with all due speed. Senator Murray.